you should come through tonight I'm chilling on the west side Ooh, Call my homegirl, tell your best friend Besides, ooh, on the low, on the low location I don't want them see me getting faded You should come through Hey you guys, what's up? Thank you guys for tuning back into my YouTube video, honey. Over here at Janelle Vlogs. You already know. Tuning in with your girl. Don't forget to like. Let me stop doing that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and also comment any ideas for your girl to do. You know what I'm saying? As a solo content creator, I say this all the time. We all just trying to win out here to so support your girl. Period! You know what I'm saying? Also, turn on that post notification bell so you guys do not miss when your girl posts a new video. So, <laughs> today, y'all, I hope y'all don't hear my bed squeaking. Lord, child. Honey. So, today, you guys, I'm going to put myself in a hot seat because why not? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Let me just look some up real quick. Hold on. I guess it's really not a hot seat because I don't got nobody with me that really knows me to really ask me questions. But I'm going to just like ask myself questions. And if I don't want to um answer them, I'm going to just take a shot of lemon juice. If I don't want to answer it. Because I've seen um Meek do that in her video. You know, I can't drink on camera, you know. So I'll just take a shot of lemon juice. What is the questions? Mm. Question number one. What has what has been your worst job ever? My worst job ever, I would have to say, is Burger King. That was my first job ever, and it was my worst job ever. Um, y'all, like me, I love customer service. I really do. Like, I'm good at it. Um I really make a good bond with all my customers that come through whatever, you know, business I'm working at or whatever. I really make a good bond with each and every one of them, like my regulars. But you will have some days where, like, you have that rude customer that just throws your whole day off. I encountered a lot of rude customers working at Burger King. Like, I used to get yelled at by customers, y'all. And that was my first job, mind you. I'm not used to somebody yelling at me other than my parents. You know what I'm saying? Like, I used to cry right there in front of my manager face when she used to yell at me because, honey, like, why is you yelling at me? You're not my mom. You're not, like, I'm not used to that. Like, why is you yelling at me for hanging out, like, passing out the wrong food? Or, like, making a mistake? Like, I'm not supposed to be perfect within my first two weeks of being there. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course, I'm going to mess up. <laughs> I'm getting that all over again. But I'm not like that no more. Like, that job, I needed to work there because it taught me a lot about how people act, how to work with different attitudes, what I can tolerate, what to expect. You know what I'm saying? Like, it really taught me a lot that I need to know about, you know, just being around people. That's why I keep to myself now, for real, for real. Like, because, like, I could tolerate, like, you no. Know, let me take that back. When it comes to a job, I can work with people with different attitudes. I can, but I won't tolerate it, so I will leave. That's how I know. I was just telling my best friend the other day, like, that's how I know. I'm supposed to be a business entrepreneur. Like, I'm supposed to be the CEO of my own life. Like, I'm just not meant to work for anybody. Like, I'd rather deal with my own customers, my own rude customers, you know what I'm saying? Like, other than working for somebody. I don't know. I don't like working for people. I don't. I really don't. I'd rather work for myself. So, girl, I'm going off topic. But, yes, my worst job ever was Burger King, y'all. What would you want your life to be if you could go and live anywhere in the world? Oh, yes. I love this question. Let me read it again. What would you want your life to be if you could go and live anywhere in the world? Y'all, sometimes I just be sitting in my room and I just be like, I just want to pack up and leave. Like, start a whole new life. Like. Uh, like I just want to start all over but then again I came so far in this life that I like you know got going on right now it was just like why give up now like I'm so close to a breakthrough and, and being where I want to be in life but I would want my life to be God fearing 
first, you know. I want my life to be, you know, like, I don't know. I just want to live a righteous life because when I die, I got to make sure I got a spot in heaven, honey. So that's, that's why I want my life to be. I want, I want to live in my truth. I want to live in my purpose. I want to use my gift. I want to continue to pursue seeking the kingdom of God. Um, I want to expire. A lot of people I want to motivate a lot of people I want to help and heal a lot of people um I just want to give I just want to give like I want to give something to this world that can make an impactful like change like I want to be a part of something big and major and yeah and whatever that takes me in the world I just want to be I want to live everywhere <laughs> because I want to travel everywhere like I just want to go everywhere I don't think I want to really settle down um but of course i you know i of course i don't it's like i want to travel like i always want to be on the go but my dream place to live is charlotte north carolina because that's where i want to establish my coffee shop but you know things can change like i might move out of state who knows but um i don't know that's why i want to stay but i don't want to i don't want to be in a house all because right now <laughs> yeah let me just start all over as of right now, that's all I do is really stay in the house. I don't really like going outside for real no more. Like, I go out with my best friend and family, but I really don't socialize and, like, network for real. Like, when it comes to college, I don't go out on my campus and explore and, like, go to the events and stuff like that. I like being indoors. Like, I'm really to myself. And, like, that's one thing I want to change probably next year. <laughs> really, nigga? Is I want to go out and, like, explore more and, like, meet new people. Because I want to make connections and start building like a... Because, you know, I can't make it to the top all by myself. I mean, I can. Don't get me wrong, I can. But I want to... In order to help people out and reach people, you got to connect with people. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, in order for me to want to do what I want to do, which is give back to people, help people, you know, give guidance, motivate people, I got to connect with people around me and, like, promote myself and stuff like that. So, um again off topic but um yeah i just want to be the life i want to live is whatever god's plans are for me so the only thing to do is just take a leap of faith and just continue to trust the process i can go deep into that into that question like y'all i just want to live a peaceful life and be happy at the same time is there anything you regret deeply no <laughs> no not even the slightest don't regret nothing in life never i don't care how bad it is never regret it because at the end of the day it taught you something you taught you learn something out of it so never regret just live life you live and you learn you know what i'm saying you fall get back up again if you feel down the only way is back up honey so what was your first happy memory my first happy memory was um discovering what i want to do for the rest of my life <laughs> that was my first happy memory because i'm just like yes i know like what i'm need to be waking up doing every day like striving for every day now you know i'm just not waking up to a same cycle of like school work go to sleep you know repeat like i'm really got a passion for something and like i really you know if you know you know like when you really want something in life when you like got something that you gotta have that's the best feeling so that had to be my first happy memory and also my gift discovering my gift was a um was a really a stress relief in a way what is your favorite genre of film romance yeah romance like y'all i'll be watching all the korean dramas i'm gonna put y'all on them korean dramas be good like them korean dramas be good like i be crying sometimes like them korean dramas be really really good what's your hidden talent My hidden talent. Um, I'm gonna just take a little lemon juice, like shot for that, because you know I don't know if I tell my hidden talent, then it won't be hidden no more, <laughs> and then I won't have nothing, you know, curious about myself that people can think. <laughs> Rufus, ain't nobody outside. I promise you, ain't nobody outside. Ooh. Ooh. I just twisted 
bit my lip a little bit what's your favorite halloween costume i don't got one honey would you move to a new country for someone you love oh y'all i can't wait to experience love like i was such a lover girl um <laughs> i love so hard y'all but i could switch that emotion off so quick it's scary it's scary like <laughs> y'all like i could be so clingy to you and then just get over you um but would i move um i don't know because i always want to have my own you know what i'm saying like even if i move or not it got to be like a mutual thing like we pack up and move together you know what i'm saying like especially if we have a family start a family in another country or something like that like it have to be something like meaningful you know what i'm saying like i just don't want to move because i love you and don't have nothing going on while i move wherever like i don't know i'm gonna be a businesswoman so you know i'm gonna be any and everywhere anyway so if even if i move or not i'm probably even gonna be at the house <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> if i have a family i will for sure because i'm not gonna miss a beat of my kid's life or my um husband's success and all that if we're married if we're married then yeah but <laughs> other than that what was your favorite birthday ever my recent one well, i turned 22 february 15th and my sister just made it like the best birthday ever like i literally like got everything that i wanted like my family is amazing and my friends y'all like everybody did their like they did their big one you know what i mean so oh thank god for another year y'all what is your ultimate dream job as a kid my ultimate dream drama job as a kid was to work at dollar tree i'm not gonna lie i thought i was gonna make a lot of money working at dollar tree when i was a kid i said i'm gonna work at dollar tree because everything's a dollar so that means i already had a business mindset y'all when i was a kid i was like i'm gonna work at dollar tree because everything's a dollar and everybody gonna go there so that means they're gonna make a lot of money and that means i'm gonna get paid a lot so i'm gonna work at dollar tree that was my dream job as a kid. Do you ever dream of having a family of your own? Yes, all the time. I can't wait to be a mother. <laughs> and I cannot wait to be a wife. And I cannot wait to be <laughs> a businesswoman. I mean, I already am, but you know what I mean? What's your biggest goals right now? I'm going to um, take a little shot because you're not supposed to tell everybody your goals. But I told y'all a few, but I didn't tell y'all like my... like. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all, I know my face looks so ugly, but yeah, you got to be careful who you tell your goals to. You know what I'm saying? Like, but even if you do, make sure you just pray over your goals to make sure they're protected. You know what I'm saying? Um, what is the first thing you do if you discovered your friend was in danger? The first thing I would do to discover, I discovered my best friend. It, <laughs> I said best friend, <laughs> y'all. Literally, probably like my only friend that I got is like two people right now. But what would I do if my best friend was in danger, y'all? I would freaking cry and <laughs> blow her phone up. I would blow her phone up, hear it from her first. If I don't hear her, I'm pulling up to her house. I'm pulling up to her job. Um, even then, I'm going on social media and I'm texting. I'm texting whoever she know, whatever relative I got on my. You know what I'm saying? I'm texting everybody. I'm freaking. I'm just going on a. I'm going on a field trip and I'm gonna find that girl. I'm gonna find that girl. I'm gonna find that girl. I don't play by my best friend. Like, if she's in danger, I'm just pulling up, period. Wherever she at, I'm pulling up. Um, God forbid anything happened to my best friend. God forbid. Which family member are you the closest with? I love all my family equally. I can't really say who I'm closest with and who I'm not. Because family is family, no matter what. So, all of them. <laughs> what are your greatest pet peeves? My greatest, my greatest pet peeves peeves is not being clean like i have to be the only time 
my room is not clean it's probably like when i'm like really sad i'm like going through something but like i'm just my biggest pet peeve is not being clean like i cannot be it has to be clean like it's even my car like i don't like when i be seeing dirt on the on the on the mat and stuff like that like i like being tidy clean like not ocd but like i like it to be clean like a clean environment because it makes me feel good another biggest pet peeve is being in drama i don't like being in drama i really don't like talking about like when it comes to the workplace like at work i don't like talk like being involved in work drama at all school drama at all like um if i'm having drama with somebody um i don't even like i don't even do that like i'll just ghost you if anything and just act like i never knew you like that's my biggest and my another another big pet peeve is like just being negative all the time like not being positive or seeing the positives like i just can't i can't i can't i can't because i've been in a dark place before like with my emotions and i said never again so i'm always looking at the positives i'm always looking at the positives if i need a vent i'll talk it out with god or my best friend or something you know what i'm saying like another big pet peeve is um judging being too quick to judge because you don't know who like what people got going on behind closed doors so like you know what i'm saying it's just hard i don't see why people be so quick to judge like if you know the person and know how they act like it's different but like no it's still bad because i i'm not perfect i mean you know what i'm saying i'm you still have the right to have your opinion but like i try to hold my tongue on a lot of stuff because i don't want to end up saying never mind it's just getting too deep but it's like be true to who you are and don't be so quick to judge somebody else mind your business and focus on you because you don't know what they be doing behind closed doors. And you don't know what their past life was like. And you don't know what they're trying to become. And you don't know what God got in store for them. So don't be so quick to judge somebody. Like you have your right to have your opinion. Yes, but you don't have to speak it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What are you scared of? Nothing. <sighs> I lie, y'all. Like, I'm scared of like like insects and stuff like that. <laughs> but like just being like deep into it i try not to be scared of anything because i know i'm covered by god so i'm gonna just say nothing because i'm you know i'm really i'm trying to believe that i'm not i have no fear like i used to be scared of a lot of stuff i'm not gonna lie but i'm trying to like you know like there's no need to be scared you know god is with me so how would you spend that additional hour if you had 25 hours in a day? Um, with God, <laughs> y'all. With God. Um, because I be trying to wake up early to have my time with him. But in all honesty, I'm just, I'm not even going to lie to myself. Like, I'm really not a, murder, a morning person, but I try to be. If I have something to do, I wake up. But, like, I only wake up early for a job, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. Like when it comes to a job, I'll wake up early. But anything else, child, I'll be I'll be about sleeping in. But if I had an extra hour in my day, most definitely with God. Cause I don't spend as much time as with him like I should. I'd be on social media more. What's the ultimate relationship deal breaker for you? Everybody come with their flaws. But I would say being unhappy. Being unhappy with me means you might cheat on me. So, <laughs> I don't want you to be unhappy with me, stink. Um, so, I would say that if you're unhappy with me, then I'm going to let you go. What would be your dream dinner date? My dream dinner date would be at the house, cooking, listening to music, vibing, watching movies, turn it up, just in the crib. In the crib, doing our own thing honestly because you know a home-cooked meal tastes better than a restaurant sometimes it do who is the celebrity you're obs obsessing over right now the black panther okay <laughs> you're not supposed to idolize nobody but honey the black panther Mbaku. okay
Okay. Goodbye. Let me stop, y'all. Let me stop. <laughs> No, I am the Black Panther, and I'm here for retribution. Okay. If you give a million dollars, if I gave you a million dollars right now, what's the first thing you would buy? My parents a house, probably. Um, My parents a house, or I, like, pay off whatever bill my family needs to get paid off or something. Um, I don't know. I just know, like, when I get my money, I feel like the first thing I'm going to spend it on is not myself. I just know it. What is the funniest comedy movie you ever watched? Um, probably Guardian, Guardians of the Galaxy. I think that's funny. A ghost just appeared in front of you. How would you react? Girl, I'll call on God. What was something you did because you thought it was cool, but now it makes you embarrassed? Oh, man. I embarrass myself all the time. What is something I did? Girl, probably confess my love for a crush back in middle school, honey. Yeah. Have you ever made someone cry with a joke? No, I haven't, but I made a lot of people cry before. <laughs> Yo, I have... Some was some was for like good reasons, some was like bad reasons, but you know everybody's not perfect. But I have made people cry before. What's the weirdest nickname someone has called you? Um, Kelly Belly. What is the most played song on your iPod? Oh, it says iPod. I still got my iPod in a closet or iPhone this month. Now, if you ever wondering about the way i'm feeling oh baby boy it ain't no question just to be around you is a blessing sick and tired of trying to save the world i just want to spend my life in your world if what you give me lets me know that will be all right because if the love was all i had in this life oh that will be enough to be in the fight rest your be hard and relax your mind because i'm gonna love you boy to be in the thing I told her, hold up. Shawty smoke cause I was out the back. I told her, roll up. Smoke a stupid looking crazy like they know us. You ain't got no money, push you bum me and you toe up. You pretty, but so what? It was a booty charge with the single on. Got a you know, where switches, but I just what? Look at my bitches, I can walk up in my double cup. Might be getting money, but you get what? 30 grand stuck up in my jeans, yeah, stuck with us, what? You ain't got that, so what you fucking fuck? I touched down at 1145. Big up, bust down in the drip on my slide. I'm 54, that's no cheese. Big up, toxic, don't tell me that. It's like a poppy cow, what? Is that purple eyes nail that? I'm on trail, turn it up and I'll see All right. Y'all, yeah, that's my song. What does your crush look like? I don't have one, y'all. What was your favorite childhood toy? I had like a, um, I had like a Dora the Explorer doll. And it would like, it had wheels on the bottom of it. And it would like dance on the floor. And like, it would move and stuff. And be doing like a little dance and stuff like that. That was my favorite childhood toy. My mom would go to, um, I think it was Toys R Us. I think it was. And she would buy like this, um, this doll head. It's like, literally like the emoji. You know what I'm saying? And you would do its hair and stuff. Child, she, she will always have to buy me one of them because I would be too rough with their head and the head will pop off. Child. Okay, what's some more juicy questions, y'all? I gotta end it off with a banger. Only took two little lemon shots. Do you prefer reading or watching television? Watching television, I watch the same movies and shows over and over and over again. I don't care if I already seen it, seen it or finished the episode. I will watch Vampire Diaries over again. I will watch Pirates of the Caribbean over again. I will watch Black Panther and Wakanda Forever over again. I will watch Guardians of the Galaxy. I will watch Magnificent. I will watch um, The Arrow. I will watch um, The Originals. I will watch... I watch Flash. I watch a lot of Korean dramas too. I watch anime too. I watch, I don't know, a lot of movies. What makes you feel uncomfortable? Being um, nervous. Uh, I don't like feeling nervous. I do not like it. What is the? What are the common mi misconceptions people have about you? I would say that I'm fake, which I kind of do fake a smile a lot of the time. 
because when people meet me i'm always like bubbly and happy and stuff like that and a lot of people can rewrite through it they know i'm not really that <laughs> behind closed doors but for the most part yeah like I'm, they just say i'm just too happy <laughs> life mantra so my motto is um everything happens for a reason what are three things that you will bring to a, a deserted island my espresso beans and no okay i had to break it down so water okay water <laughs> my espresso machine and my espresso grounds <laughs> what's one word your friends uh will use to describe you um nice too nice what they used to say i'm too nice what is something on top of your bucket list to make money ah! <laughs> to make a million dollars to make a million dollars if someone gave you ten thousand dollars today how would you spend it like i said not on myself on my family something on my family child what is the weirdest thing you've done for a laugh y'all let me go back to that question what did it say how would your friends describe you in one word let me change that to weird because i do everything i do is weird i promise you everything i do is weird that's just me yeah like yeah i'm just so weird y'all i really am but like i'm a i'm a i'm a good vibe i love being around good vibes where's where's your happy place my happy place is anywhere that involves um, people putting energy back into me. Like, hanging around. Like, I don't know. Hanging around my family, like, makes me feel so good. Hanging around my best friend makes me feel so good. Like, just being around people that make, that puts energy into me and not take it out, y'all. Like, ugh, that's the best. What was one of the craziest things that happened to you? Ugh, I don't want to say that. <laughs> I don't want to say yet, y'all. You in my business. Don't do that. I hope this helped me lose weight, honey. <coughs> my bottom lip disappears every time I do that. When was the last time you cried? Probably this morning. Yeah, honey. If you had a private jet, what would you name it? I would name my private jet. Girl. It's going to be one name. I fly with the birds in the skies. I am no longer trying to survive. They believe that life is a prize. But to live doesn't mean you're alive, period. That's the one. That's going to be the whole name. Don't worry about me. Ooh. I get what I desire. It's my empire. And yes, I am the water upon a bed. In this very moment, in this very moment, I swear you like this. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? Um, my one superpower would be. If they had a if they had a superpower for nah let me see my one superpower would be I wouldn't want to time travel I wouldn't want to fly I wouldn't want to be invisible I would like to be a healer but I don't want to sound like I'm a god you know um I don't think I would want one. I don't think I want, I like, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I want a super uh, hero power. What is the stupidest thing you ever done was to think that I didn't have potential. Just thinking that is just stupid. <laughs> thinking that is just stupid. Like, I got to remember who I am sometimes, honey. What celebrity would you like to live with? 
Honey, I already live with one. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Um. Okay, this is a good one. What would you rather have, fame or riches? I would say riches. Because fame, your privacy is kind of... Like, yeah, I want to be like, inspire people and motivate people. But I feel like fame wouldn't do nothing for me if it's like fake. You know what I'm saying? Like a fake world. Like fame, I feel like that comes with like... Like, that's when, like, contracts and stuff be involved. And I just want to do my own thing and make my own money behind the scenes. Whatever God blesses me with. Whatever wealth God, that's another thing. Whatever wealth God blesses me with, that's what I want. That's the riches I'm talking about. Because all money is not good money. I want the good money. I don't want no bad money, honey. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So I'd rather have riches rather than fame. I don't want to get, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to be a part of something big in this world. I have like a lot of people know my name, but I don't want to do it if it, that means like I'm not walking in my truth while doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm doing it for me, like the way I want to do it. If that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So I'd rather have riches than fame. But yeah y'all thank you guys for tuning into my video i hope you guys like this video something slight something small nothing too crazy but like i said don't forget to like subscribe and also comment please comment you know what i'm saying of things that i can do for um content and yeah i'll see y'all the next video <laughs>